And welcome to another story time with Daddy. It made it. I was finally on top. And she threw, thinking, I took my mittens. So I'll leave the try to figure it out. When I came around the corner, climbing up that giant mountain, I said, well, fine. You mittens, give me those mittens. And she looked at me like, what are you talking about? I got a dog. 50 pounds. What do you think I saw? I saw all them trolls I had tricked. They were at the top of the mountain with us. And they want a dog. So, I had to come up with something. They tackled me. Their strength, even the smallest one, three feet tall, could overpower me. Could overpower my dog. My 250 pound dog. So, I had to come up with something. I lost my hat. I lost my mittens, my boots, my sweater, my compass, my jackknife, my wallet, my iPad. Maybe not a whole lot of those things, but some of those things I had lost to them darn trolls. So I looked at them all and I said, Have you ever seen somebody fly? Fly? Fly! We want dog! We want fly! Dog! Fly! Dog! Fly! Dog! Fly! Dog! Fly! And they were beside themselves with confusion and frustration and anger and excitement. Fly? How could you fly? How could a human fly? I took my skis off my back and I set them on the ground and I said, these magic sticks are going to make me fly and I'll let you all see it and it'll be so exciting. And Think of all the stories you can tell your friends. And they looked at me through thin eyes. Oh, I don't I said, oh, I know, but think about it, how cool it will be. I just, I just need a couple things. You ever seen somebody fly? They hadn't, they'd never seen anybody fly. Okay, they all agreed. They wanted to see somebody fly. So what did I need? What did I need to fly? Well, I need my magic hat because that helps me stay upright. Uh -uh. It sounded like a good idea. And what do they know about flying anyway? So the troll that had taken my hat, took it off his head, and he gave it to me. And I said, I need my mittens to help me soar through the air. And I got my mittens back. I need my sweater, because it helps lift me up high. And I got my sweater back. And I need my boots to clip into my, sh my skis. In some countries, they're called shees. But in my country, they're called skis. So I got my boots back and I put them on. And then, I'm, and then I turned to them and I said, well, I need one more thing. What? We want to see you fly. I've never seen anybody so uncontrolled by their emotions and excitement. I need you to push me. We can't push you. We got the dog. Don't you see the dog? Oh, okay. Well, I'll hold the dog, and you push me. They were so excited. What a novel idea. The human hold the dog. So the human held the dog, and all of them pushed me down the hill. And as I flew down the hill, I threw my head back and laughed. <laughs> Zira had my dog. Down the hill we went, safely to home. And I'd never seen those trolls again. So like I said, this is not an original tale. I stole this tale from this book, Trouble with Trolls by Jan Barrett. And I think it's going to look inverted. I don't know why. I can't figure that out. But anyway, Trouble with Trolls. Get it. It's a good book.